Hello everyone and welcome back to the Age of Decadence. We are screwed, probably. <laughs> uh, but basically, we went around, we were doing some negotiation. I am uh, kind of stuck in a little bit of the sense of like, man, I really should have joined the army way back when, because now I'm hanging out with, uh, maybe they're the Mongols? I don't know. We'll have to see. They talk about the Skyfather a lot. Um, there was interesting comments about that. Um, the idea that... Um, some of it matched up from when I remember those wonderful books I read. Anyway, enough of me pretending to be smart. The past has changed in your absence. The towers are gone, replaced by crude catapult and wooden barricades in front of stone walls. Barricades don't block the approach, but create a narrow corridor. The men look less like brigands and more like soldiers. They recognize you and raise the stone block serving as a gate, leading you in. After telling you how lucky you are to make it back in one piece, ask if you've seen any ordu, they take you to see Centurion Bass. Wait, what? Then I already do that? Bass is going over some scrolls. As far as he can tell, the subject is alchemy. It creates the black powder, and several clay pots are sitting on the floor nearby. So you were the messenger, says Bass matter-of-factly. I got another missive not an hour ago that just slipped through my fingers. Of course, I didn't expect to see you ever again, but sometimes the gods are kind. He gestures the guard standing behind you. Chain her, and let's get started. What? Die with dignity? Yeah, that's a great freaking letter. I see, says Bass softly. You have three to go. My regards to Lord Cena. Return to Mandorin. Okie dokie. Things and stuff have occurred. Um. Oh, good. <laughs> Speak. Commands Galia, expecting you to step forward. About the Ordu. What? What? That was weird. <laughs> I just pressed one and just it, it just went there. You enter the main hall at the far end of it. Lord Gallius holds court, receiving daily visitors in order to report. And I think I've already read this. Constant crowd approach him. Um, about the temple. What have you learned? Nothing to report yet. What? Did I break the game? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Don't know what's going on. Okay. All right. So I guess I'll go back and talk to, to Cena. I think I kind of. I wonder if the game got kind of bollocks up. Ah, oh, Lord, now I have to remember where Cena was. Where was he? Oh, these controls. I forgot. Um. You're in one of these houses, right? Is this one of them? Right. That's a bathhouse. No need to do that. That's a little wonky. Doors locked. Lorenza. Cena. Hey, Cena. So, because I think I did his bidding, because die with dignity is not an option. No dignity here. They just still dead. Uh, I'm going to, since I've opened up a temporal rift in time, or the game seemingly went a little wonky, we're gonna be like, Zial broke the game. There we go. What a, what a clever save name. I'm clever. Lord Cena. How may I be a service? Nothing. What? 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 Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, ha, 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 Okay, so, I am going to take the educated guess that something went... <laughs> yeah, there's there's my other save. Let's go back in time and see if it save plays out this way. Blah, 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 Centurion Bass. I was good, just for giggles, let's see what happens to Die of Dignity. You find the Terminats to be taken alive, take a couple men with you. Manage to kill one free hacked pieces. Rest in peace. Well, what a great freaking... Yeah, <laughs> So ends the rest of <laughs> Divinity Originals. I'm sorry. Age of Decadence. whoop de frack and do Show him the letter. I see. You're free to go. Return to Mandoran. Okay. Now, I'm going to be very gentle when I press the one key. You just, just you know, just, you got to touch it. You know, maybe it'll see forceful. About the Ordu. We're going to click it instead of pressing the button. 
And same thing happened as last time. The flippity flappity flick. Son of a... <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on. First off, from my understanding, we went to go talk to the Legionnaires who were going to beat up the Ordu, right? So they were going to... And I failed to negotiate kind of between the two of them. Um, so I went back to the pass to attempt to maybe stand with the Ordu because, hey, the Mongols are better than most of the people I've met. At least they have some honor. Um, that didn't work out because Centurion Bass was back in charge, which seemed weird. To me, because I don't really know why uh, that was the case. Hmm. All right, let's uh, move around and let's see the world map. Can I go back to the pass? Yeah. Okay. Swell. Mm-hmm. I might have accidentally ended my adventures. There was either dying with dignity, which as you saw, well, that went back to loading screen, or potentially having broken game with what I did. So, at this point, I've screwed over to the thieves. Let's check our, let's check our allegiances here. I've screwed over to the thieves. Yeah, they don't like me anymore. <laughs> Coercium hates me because I used to be with the thieves. The guards just aren't recruiting because they're like that. The Bowman of Sticks does, doesn't seem to care about me, even though I've definitely interfered in their affairs before. And House Aurelian, something about a temple. Yet, when it comes to this here temple, my quest log talks about going to Genezer, talks about the armor, the arena, information about the map, locals, the map. Uh, Cena is just bloody useless, because when I go talk to him... He says nothing at the moment. Right? Still? Yeah, great. Well, you can stop breaking the bloody game with your decision making. Uh, Alright, so... At this point, we have to look for more people to betray. I mean, ally ourselves with. Because I don't know what the heck temple he's talking about. Um, so... Maybe the boatman, or let's try the fort. Maybe all of a sudden they're going to be like, Hey, we're recruiting now. You recruiting now? What do you want, girl? Leave. Really? Is that it? State your business. My business is wanting... <sighs> hmm. Alrighty, Roo. Next on a whirlwind tour... There is the boatman. <laughs> yeah, let's see what they want. Maybe they'll help me out. Can you help me advance the game? At least? I know my skill set is excellent for what you guys have going on. Hi, Ronnie. He stared at an exhausted young man, apparently just having trained out of the courtyard. He's dressed in Ordu armor, despite not being in Ordu. He looks up at you, Chris, says, What do you want? I just came from Terran, looking for the Guildmaster. That is absolutely not true. What's your name? Zial. I'm Ronnie. I heard a lot about from Terran lately. Seems like someone is stirring things up over there. Well, welcome Andorin, I guess. If you're looking for Dorista, she's inside. Uh, tell me about her. Uh, what's there to tell? If you're looking for work, then there's someone better to work for. Thanks. Yeah. I don't see an option, honestly, because I don't know what's... Uh, this last time I'm looking at this here, there's the Arena Master. As far as I understand, if I complete that, it just kind of... Some fanfare and I get some stuff from him. Uh, which, believe me, I'll die a few more times in the arena, or at least attempt to actually murder that guy when I get better gear, or perhaps cheese him. But, I can't get to Gadezer yet, uh, because I haven't fetched anything here. Uh, I'm looking for this over here. Seeing if there's anything from... Yeah, see, like, the active techniques... Techniques? Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, the active quests are just not very helpful. So yeah, let's go join the boatman. Whatever. Hi. 
Do you care with all the other bad stuff I've done with, uh, with your faction? Are you cool with me? It was rumored that Jarista, the guild master of Mandoran's assassin, was once beautiful and even shared Galius' bed once or twice. Nowadays, her beauty is hidden behind several scars, a broken nose, and a mercenary tattoo in her cheek. Marks of the various campaigns she fought in. Teresa isn't the first female guildmaster, but she is the first to make assassinations a preferred choice for solving disputes and conflicts. As a result, business in Mandoran's guild is booming, with the number of satisfied customers growing daily. Greet her. Howdy there. What do you need? Nothing right now. Excellent. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Alrighty. So. Hi, Roddy. Now, yeah, I need nothing from you. I don't know. The Commercium hates me. Maybe they'll invite me to dinner or whatever. Let's go talk to the thieves. Maybe they've forgiven me for double crossing them. Maybe. Let's see how this goes. And yeah, we're, we got we have our save before, so I'm just gonna hit quick save. Heck with it, I don't care anymore. Hey, what's going on there? What the fuck do you want? Leave. <laughs> okay, I remember our secret entrance way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That went well. Yeah, not enough to stand up to me. They don't care that much. <laughs> Mr. Clean. Something, something, yeah, words and things. So, something about a map. Okay. Well, let's look at our kill list again. Uh, the Commercium's gonna say no. They're gonna be like, what do you need? Leave. Um, prestige. Mm-hmm. The ambitious newcomer. House Aurelian, House Karasis, House Tartanian. Tartan. Tartan. Uh, the slums is probably just going to get me in a fight with somebody. What's up here, Noble Homes? Is it just where it was? Yeah, it's just where it was. Well, what's up, Lorenza? I do... I need anything. I need something to do with my time. <laughs> because I broke the game, or something broke in it. And now I can't seem to do anything. Places, man. A large villa? No. Uh, Alright, we're going to go back to the palace and see if maybe we can go talk to somebody else. Yeah, I'm on the list. Great. Okay. Look at these choices. There's go there or nowhere else. Sure, I can't go up here? No, it doesn't even allow me to. Is there any other doors? Hey, what's over here? Apparently, Oblivion is over there. Oblivion. Where's. Save me, Patrick Stewart. Golly gee, what occurs? I'll take Sean Bean at this point. Come on, anybody. Mm hmm. Yep. About the temple, nothing. If I just leave, do anything. Approach, leave. Yeah, good. Well, I'm actually gonna call it that. That was a uh, broken quest, or my choices led to the game breaking, which I haven't been to this so-called. Um, awful area, you know, like the area that was blasted by the bad stuff. It's over here. Was blasted the wharf, the magi. Can I just go over there? Nope. Hmm. Oblivion again. Oblivion. Wait, what are you? Are you it? That's the palace district. So this goes to the palace district. So this is effectively nothing. Maybe the slums and south of the slums is where I'm thinking of. Let me see. Because I'm sure to get attacked along the way by, I think, these guys who no longer like me. Um, was it tab or look at other places to go? A fountain. Mm hmm. Hmm, yeah. Where am I? Is it Shipsy? There I am. 
Uh, okay. Mm hmm. Just bum. Yeah, bum. What a guy. All dwelling. Good times. Is it going to be all dwelling? State of decay. Uh, yeah, what's going to happen when I pop out here? Or go around here. Are they going to want to uh, murderize my bones? No. Perhaps I shouldn't talk to him. Because like, his scripting is only a matter of the first time you go through. And as far as I can tell... Is go towards the temple. And... Nowhere else. Okie dokie. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay, well. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's like, how many more ways can you see me just go, whoop the derp -de derp I don't know what I'm doing. Whoop -de -derp. Who's Acubar? Hi. Oh, this Acubar. Do you know about the map? There's no one here. These are, oh, there's three stories to this place. Great. Acubar, do you know about maps or anything? See a bald bearded man filling with a tip old telescope bearing the side of crew repair. If you want me to do a chart, you're wasting good time, says the man, his accent thick and heavy. What chart? I'm a stargazer, says the man impatiently, as you shouldn't have been obvious. But I don't do charts anymore, so don't ask. Now what do you want? I need a lore master. I am that as well. Surely you've heard of Akuba Akbukar. Excuse me. She'll tell me what you need and go away. What is this thing? A telescopium. A wonder of wonders. Through it, I observe stars and their movements. Although it's not the stars, but the void between them that captures my attention now. Why? I've learned that the void is anything but empty. The darkness hides it well, but nothing can stay hidden forever. Those who dwell in the void are taken upon myself to watch them. This sounds eerily familiar to divinity. Have you seen any yet? I have not. But the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. They are there, somewhere. I know that now. What makes you think that? What makes me think that? The wisdom of the ancients contained in the scrolls I found the rubens in the library of Steros. Oh, the truth they reveal. I burned the scrolls, but they can't burn the words imprinted in my mind. They're the reason I watch the void now. So, what the scrolls say? They said the magi reached far into the void and brought forth beings that are not like this or any other world. Beings that bring neither life the way we know it, nor death. The link has been severed and the gate sealed, but the path remains. The seals can be unlocked and the spells can be reversed unless we stand guard and watch the void. He's madder than a hat. <laughs> Best to leave him alone. I have a few items I want you to look at. Make it quick. Here's the sphere. Clever. Says Akubai thoughtfully turning the sphere in his fingers. The grooves, they must match something, no? Find what it is and you'll have your answer. Okay, great. Here's the map. The temple of Thoragath. He says, Akukar, after setting the seal. It's a fool's errand. Atidas has been searching for it for a long time. He even sent an expedition, but they didn't find anything. Talk to Dominus Ulpis if you want to know more. Uh, what do you know of Thoragath? There wasn't, he wasn't of this world. None of them were. They were brought here and given life, which is the greatest folly of man. Be thankful they are gone, but remain vigilant and stand ready to delay the return. For we are not what we once were, and we will be all but helpless against them. Okay. Nope, already did that. So, what's that tell me in my good old log? You can find them in the arena district after you leave this house. Well, perhaps this is sort of main questy, right? Like, trying to go downstairs, I really am. There it is. Okay. So, Arena District it is. And I'm looking for Dopperly Flopidus. Hi. <laughs> Are you Dominus Flopidus? Or any of you guys? No. Good talk. No, that guy is just a jerk running a bar. 
but I should double check it. Oh, it's my good friend Basil. Hello. How's it going, buddy? And, alright. Well, something better than being locked out because I somehow broke the quest. Um, which I suppose another way of going about this, if nothing pans out, I will attempt to go back and see if I can change the future to not be destroyed. That's a house of pleasure. Somehow I doubt that space. Hey, what? Hey, wait, this seems familiar. Hi. Hmm, yes, this camera. Dominus! See middle-aged man with weather face, half hidden by a scraggly beard. You ask if he's Dominus Ulpius, and the man nods, letting you in. What can I do for you, stranger? Says Dominus tiredly. Well, Akukar told me you were searching for the Temple of Thorgoth a few years ago. Show him the map. I don't see how I can help you since I never found it, says the man cautiously. You know more than I do. At the very least, you can tell me where the temple is not. Well, I suppose it's not really a secret. According to the map, the temple is somewhere northeast from Terran, but the map hasn't been drawn to scale, so it's almost impossible to pinpoint the exact location. What's worse is the map's been drawn before the war, so it's many places the map first are no longer there. There are reports of buried temple east of Mandoran, and that's where we started. We set up camps and started combing the desert, looking for signs in the temple. The problem is the desert is the same. Winds constantly shift the sands, making dunes move them will. Entire towns have been known to disappear under the shifting sands, so looking at the buried temple in the desert, it's looking for a needle and haystack. Still, we were optimistic, and that's when the attacks came. Attacks? We are too close to Mandoran, too go close for Galeus' comfort. I'm not sure what he thought we were doing there, but it's very clear he wanted us gone. At first, our scouts started disappearing, and then smaller camps came under attack. After losing a third of our men, some gear, we were forced to pack up and leave. Mention a buried temple. Several caravan masters reports seeing a buried complex emerging from the sand. Top of the pyramid surrounded by towers. They said it was pretty big, as big as Terran, even. Do you believe them? Their accounts were consistent, and they had no reason to lie. At the same time, desert off plays tricks on one's eyes. So perhaps they all saw what wasn't there. Go on. We kept moving northeast until we came to a dead river and the ruins of some dock. The river was covered in fog. We could see the remains of some ships, but not much else. We lowered several men down there and sent them to look for a way up, but they didn't return. Then we split our group in two. One went north and looked for a way to cross the river. The other went south. I was with the group that went north, and we didn't find any way across, but we found something far more interesting. A temple carved in the face of a mountain. At first, we even thought we found the temple, but the gods led us to it. That the gods led us to it. We rushed to the side. We really didn't. We really thought we'd found it, but all we knew was that Titus was after. Had the temple already been looted, it would have been worthless. We had had to find something valuable to bring back, something that would have made us all rich men. We had good lore masters with us, and Titus spared no gold. He had the best man, and they were worth every coin. They knew what to look for and what to do with it before any of us even blinked and went through the temple like hounds following scent. We found hidden chambers and moving platform to take us down to lower levels. We thought we found the inner sanctums, but instead we found hell itself under our very feet. I knew for the moment I saw it, Hellgate, from the old stories. I begged the Lord Master to leave alone, but they said, but they were lost, the machines. I doubt they heard a word I said. So I left them to their fate. A few men went with me, but, uh, but most stayed there. And the ground shook. I knew the fools had awakened machines, that we heard the first screams. We knew better than go back and try to save anyone. So you never tried to find the temple again? It changed something to me. I mean, we've all heard the stories about the olden days, but when they become real right before your eyes, you start thinking, what if the stories are real? What if Galius is right to fear the artifacts? Maybe we really should lock them up and throw away the key. I hope you never find it, says Dominus quietly. What about the other group, the one that went south? Never heard from them again, I assume they're all dead, much like the rest of the expedition. Do you remember where the temple in the mountains was? Somewhere northeast from here, a few weeks' journey and maybe more. I wish I could be more help, but my job was keep us moving forward and secure the temple, not to fiddle around with an astrolab. Whose job was it? Oh, joys! Someone else. Gaius Lavinius. He was the best cartographer I've ever worked with, and I'm not sure he can help you either. He was with me all the way. I ch uh, it changed him, too. He stayed with me for a year, mostly staring blankly and talking to himself, then went to Gunnizar. What else can you tell me? I often wonder about the map itself over the years. I've seen a fair number of them, and none were made by a cartographer. My guess is that were made by the temple's acolytes. They did their best, but they didn't really know what they were doing. My question is why. It's almost as if they knew that something was coming. We're told to make maps to ensure that the temple will be found. Uh, that the temple will be found one day. Okay. Well, thanks to the experience points, that was swell. And once again, we are left with this whole Genezer. You know, the one that's on the map. Oh, it actually opened up now. 
So perhaps we're not stuck in our terrible fate forever. I'm reluctant just to quickly go there right this second. So, because I don't know... Well, to be honest, I think I've already destroyed whatever credibility I had here. I mean, there's... This seems like this quest is just broken, so whatever. Um, so, I think for the rest of this episode, we are going to give it a couple of uh, scout tries on murdering the uh, good gentleman. And I like bombs. I have bombs and such. Yeah, we're going to try to... Uh, since we have all these excess points, we have 24, which isn't enough to get any more spear. But it is enough to get some more dodge, right? Alright. So, I'm going to just pump it here. Well, I'm going to make another save for it. Because if not, I might need these saves for, you know, figuring out what the heck is going wrong with my save game. Um, or with that one quest, or, you know, might get stuck in some various state of game breakage. Oh, did I already spend it by mistake? Yeah, I did. I was supposed to press the minus button. So whatever. It is now canon. It is canon. <laughs> Great. Breaking this down. But we're going back into the quest guy. Okay. We have some poison on our maps. We got some bombs on our belts. Uh, we only have a little bit of poison. And it's on a crappy spear, but we do have the big one right here. As far as I can tell, this is our best, uh, our best bet is to toss some bombs and things at him. I'm gonna go like this. Can I just go like that? Yeah, look at that. I'm dual wielding bombs and bags. yippee ki -yay. Let's go try to take on this guy. Alright, yeah, let's fight up. He's super. Do, 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 Wait. He comes forward. I toss net. It's like you fool. I throw bomb. Knock you down. Then I toss net. Then. <laughs> Excellent. I'm, I'm a brilliant organic sco uh, storyteller, I tell you. I take spear in hand, apply, cannot attack, but if you try to get close to me, I will stab you with my pointy spear. There you go. He dodge. Of course he dodge. Okay, so... Options are looking at this stuff here, throwing fire on the ground, maybe right near me. I don't know if that's gonna actually work out. Really not much else can, there's not really much else I can try it. It's something, right? And there we go. Suck on this. What, really? Suck on this. Okay, it does some damage. That has been established. And I can move away and not be able to equip my spear. Shucks. Unless, maybe. How much does it cost with the spear? Two. Holy. Alright. Come at me. Yes. Alright. Yeah. Didn't do too much. But he is still netted right now. And I can go like this. And while he is still netted, I could try to go for his legs, slow him down. Yes, we hit him with the poison, and then we move away. Come here. Back off. Back off. Yep. Okay. So, he doesn't have his net anymore. He is wounded. Do I have any other special things that I can deal with him on this, being the spear person? There's still a couple drops of poison on here. There is just throwing more nets on him as well. Um... I am almost thinking we move up. And what was Arterial Strike in? That was the one that's going to make it so that armor damage chance is 25%. And it can cause bleeding just like everything else. Aiming for his head is a 50-50 shot. It's 50-50. Uh, I'll take it. Darn it. Back up. And 
and he approaches. And it didn't work. Oh, he'll be in the danger zone now. Darn it. I didn't mean to... <clears throat> Sometimes you just accidentally click things. You just kind of want to die. Um, aiming for his arms. Don't want him to hit me. Don't, don't hit me. Don't hit me. All right, cool. Poison worked. Dodge, dodge. That is not dodging. Okay. We've got to... I've got all sorts of maladies. 15% chance to do that? For real? Man, this guy is such a boss. Well, I have an antidote. Decrease poison level by 5. Uh, does this stop bleeding? The neural stimulant. Yeah. Why not? We'll take it. Right click, drink. Alright, now I'm no longer bleeding. Now, I need to put on a net and hope for the best. And perhaps my, even if it's crappier spear, it still has poison attached to it. So, we'll equip both of these. Uh, we'll entangle them for one. And use a fast attack to attempt to poison him. It didn't work. Counterattack. Counterattack. Okay. Oh, so one more hit's probably going to be the end of me, but I do have poison on this thing. So while I have the opportunity to hit him in his legs. Okay, cool. Legs have been hit, and he has slowed down. Aiming for his head. So probably where everything goes wrong. Let's just go for his arms. Let's have greater chance. Okay. And reducing his accuracy by 10 points for 3 turns. Uh, beyond that, head strike is at 5. Whirlwind, faint, throw opponent. That's way too much. Um, I'm going to aim for his arms again. Attempt to see if they stack. Darn it. Alright. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Well, that's game. <laughs> so, we'll have to figure out what to do uh, in the uh, next episode. It looks like I might be able to move up to Geneser. I don't know. I am really disappointed that, like, it's obvious that just something just kind of went away and there was no talking afterwards and something went sideways on that hair quest. But, I don't know. Who can say? Maybe I can come back and be better equipped to deal with the Arena Master. But regardless... Thank you very much for watching. If you have any insights to my current predicament, please uh, let me know. I'll be checking out some sources. But, uh, you know, Ancient Decadence doesn't really have, like, a whole slew of people playing it. Um, so I'm not sure if anyone's encountered this particular bug. Probably somebody has, though. I'll have to look around for it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And I will catch you in the next episode. Even if it is just throwing bombs, like right now... Can I just throw it right now? Throw it at the shop? Whatever. I can't even can't even murder people for fun. <sighs> I tell you. I tell you what. I tell you what. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.